Hi Libra, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please go check that out, be greatly appreciated. Thank you to everyone for all your support. Thank you to those who have subscribed, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel. It's very, very much appreciated. Thank you for all your support, helping me get these messages out to the people that need to hear them, being a part of the channel's growth, and I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all the support. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Libra, let's see what's going on, Libra. What does spirit want you to know at this time? What are your messages? It could be from whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though I do date them. It's just so um, viewers know in what order they were released. Other than that, I do consider them all timeless. So let's see what spirit wants you to know, Libra, at this time. What does spirit want you to know? I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. Hope everybody had a good Halloween. All right, so I'm gonna pull three from each Oracle deck and then we'll clarify with tarot. So I'm gonna pull all the Oracles first and then uh, we'll see what messages you get. So what do we have for Libra Spirit, please? What do they need to know at this time? Oh, too many. What are their messages? Okay, seeing that one. What are their messages? That one. And one more, one more, oh, too many, and this one. Okay, let's get some from this deck, three from each deck. I have pre-shuffled, meditate on the cards off camera. I do a little more shuffling on camera for fresh energy. So one more shuffle, we'll get three from this deck. Let's see what spirit wants you to know at this time. What messages do we have for Libra at this time, Spirit, please? What do they need to know? We have three cards. What they need to know at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, there's two there. Okay, one more. One more. One more for Libra, please. That one. Okay, let's get three from this deck. You could skip on ahead if you don't want to watch all the shuffling. Do a few shuffles with this deck. All right, let's see. Three from this deck, Spirit, please. What does Libra need to know at this time? Thank you so much, Spirit. What are the messages for Libra at this time? That one. Two more. One more for Libra, please. One more for Libra, please. Thank you so much. Oh, that's two. That's not one. Take that one. All right. Let's see what we have for Libra. Let's see what your messages are from Spirit. We have face your shadow. So this is telling you to face any um, negative aspects within yourself. This is facing your shadow side things that you need to work on within yourself. So this is telling you to face and deal with those things that are weighing you down, bring you down, any negative energy, anything you want to change in your life, your personality with, within yourself, within your life. It's telling you you need to face those things now at this time. Choose friends wisely. So Okay, so there may be even be some friends around you now that are dragging you down because you've got the shadow side, which is kind of like a dark negative energy in a way. And you may have to choose friends wisely here, either up, new friends, upcoming friends, or you may have to cut friends out of your life that are no longer serving you, even though it may be hard to do. Wow, so we have tune out distractions. So, And we have um, three cards here all in the same area because if you see these cards they are separated into like different colors different um, schemes and you have three of the same there so 
let me see if I can uh, see in the book here. No, it doesn't really. doesn't really tell you like what um, what theme represents like what this theme represents but this is the same theme here so yeah tune out distractions they may be friends that are distracting you that are dragging you down uh, that are just not really in a good place and it may not be wise for you to be around that energy at this time that's what I'm getting with that or be careful of who you choose to talk to or tell secrets to or things like that. Because there may be friends that may not have your best interests that may tell everybody your secrets. So, uh, yeah. And to enough distractions, that means to, you know, take some time for you, quiet time for you. Um, you know, don't be so caught up in distractions around you. I think you may need to just concentrate on yourself and that's also to focus on whatever you're doing you know whenever you focus to do something to stay focused and not let distractions um, get the best of you all right so let's see what we have here we have knowledge so some of you may be learning or thinking about going back to school thinking about um, gaining some sort of knowledge here maybe um, taking some classes, courses, or something to advance in your career, or maybe just reading, just maybe, you know, oh, I want to learn more about this or that, and getting some books to uh, learn more about certain things. So Spirit wants you to know if there's something you're thinking about reading up on or gaining knowledge about or going back to school or something like that, then it's probably wise to do that. And then we have grace. So this is being grateful. This is being... Um, I don't want to say elegant, but this is just being very graceful, you know, accepting things with grace, um, you know, the way you present yourself, the way you act, the way you um, interact with other people. It's just, just to have that grace about you and don't let negative energy drag you down to stay in that graceful, grateful energy. And then we have communication. So there may be something here. Uh, you may need to communicate with some people around you. And I almost feel like you may gain knowledge about some friends that you don't like. And you may tell them gracefully, hey, you know what? Uh, I think I'm done here or something like that. Um, they may try to distract you <laughs> or something like that. But I think, you know, it's all about clear cut communication here. Communicating. So we're going to clarify with the tarot after. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have deep freeze, so 26, 8. And 8 is usually about action, movement, travel, and communication. But here, something's on a deep freeze. And it's so funny because 8 here, like I said, about communication, travel, action. And then you got communicate here. But then you got deep freeze. So I feel like something has been still frozen in time, something I feel needs to be communicated or dealt with, but it's like nobody's dealing with it. It's just like in this still deep freeze and it's just like the elephant in the room, but nobody deals with it. And it's just like frozen in time. I don't know. It's like a weird message. So I don't know. We'll clarify that. Or you, there may be something here you need, may need to just let go of it. Kind of like put it in deep freeze for now. Go back to it later. Um, now might not be the time to deal with it or to pursue something you know maybe the time now just to put it on hold just let it go let it be and get back to it at another time so kind of two messages there compass so this is about uh five is change so some of you uh this is about making change compass is your compass pointing in the right direction do you feel like you're pointing your compass in the right direction are you being led in the right direction do you feel like you're going in the right direction so some of you feel like you're not going on in the right direction, you're not in the right place, whatever that may be, then it may be time for change here because 50 equals 5, 5 is about change. So it may be time to change your direction for some of you. And maybe that's what you've been putting on this deep freeze is avoiding change. 
you know, maybe you know it's time to make a change. It could be a career, it could be a job, it could be anything, it could be moving. And maybe you're just like, you know, not doing anything about it. And that could be the deep freeze there. But I think Spirit also wants you to know that it may be time for this change. And we have rock bottom here, which is 10. 10s are about ending, but then 10 is one is a new beginning. Sorry about the glare. So the rock, rock bottom, some of you may feel like a situation or even yourself has hit rock bottom. Like there's no more growth. There's no more expansion. It's just like we're at the bottom now. And, you know, only way at the bottom, when you get to the bottom, only way is up. So, you know, some of you may feel like something is, I feel like with this deep freeze, I think encompass and rock bottom, I actually feel like they go this way. I feel like some of you know something has hit rock bottom, like it's run its course and you know it's time for change, but it's like you're, you're not, you're not doing anything about it. You're kind of like in the still deep freeze energy like I know I need to make change I know whatever this is has run its course it's hit bottom there's nowhere else to go there's no more growth expansion whatever and I know change is needed but I'm not doing anything about it I'm kind of like in this deep freeze it could be a relationship it could be certain friendships it could be moving it could be career or something it could be anything here only you know what that is for some of you I feel like it could be friendships that are no longer serving you and some of you, I feel like it's your career. It could be relationships. Like I said, it could be anything here. And it's telling you, this is the Archangel, uh, Guardian Angel Oracle up here is telling you to communicate gracefully over here. But then some of you may, uh, may be about the career or something here, gaining more knowledge so you can make this change. And don't let anything distract you. And it's time to face this change. This could be the shadow here. is facing this change that you, you know you need to make, that you're avoiding. But choose your friends wisely, who you confide in, who you talk to. Okay, because some may try to talk you down, talk you out of it. All right, so let's see. This, these can be all separate messages. This can all go together, whatever your uh, situation is. Some of you need to face something that you haven't been facing. Face your shadow. So I just want to read a little bit about that. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're not, not alphabetical. So that's kind of... Be aware not to be fixated on your own needs that you are insensitive to the needs of others. This causes unnecess unnecessary stress and estrangement between yourself and those around you. The frustration you may feel at that moment is a reflection of your own shadow or those aspects of your nature that are wounded and fragmented. This opportunity for healing your shadow is at hand. So this is all about he healing, like ego issues, uh, negative issues, things like that. To love yourself to take responsibility for things um, and that sort of energy. Some of you, I'm getting just be careful around about friends around you and try to stay focused on whatever tasks you have at hand, whatever you're doing, if it's just at work or if it's major changes in your life or little things, try not to get distracted, stay focused on whatever you're doing so that you can complete it, finish it and see it through. And Spare also wants you to know that if you're thinking about gaining knowledge, going, like I said, reading more, get going back to school or anything, that you should do that. But be graceful with your communication. I feel these two go together. Uh, white is like that peaceful, um, loving place. So try to communicate gracefully um, if you've been a little harsh lately. But I feel like here, uh, some you feel like you, you've hit rock bottom or something's hit rock bottom. But you're kind of in a deep freeze, not really doing anything about it. But it's really time for change. Really time for change here. All right, so let's uh, clarify some tarot. So what is this face or shadow side about for Libra? That's too many. This, okay, so we have 
the Four of Swords, exactly, recovery. So this is about healing, thinking, contemplating, going within, spending time alone, recuperating, rejuvenating, retreating. So face your shadow here is telling you to um, do that healing work, to think, contemplate. Why am I feeling this way? Why do I react this way? Why do I do this? Why do I do that? You know, this is thinking, contemplating, and then healing that energy, spending time alone and really dealing with it, facing that shadow side. All right, so choose friends wisely. What is that about? What is that about? Well, Libra. What is that about for Libra? Okay, so we have the Five of Cups energy here, which is sadness, loneliness, um, hurt, loss. So if you have friends that make you feel this energy, like they drag you down, they make you feel sad and, you know, that kind of energy, I think you need to pick and choose what friends do you, you know, want to keep in your life. Do you want friends that make you feel that way or do you want friends that lift you up and make you feel good about yourself. You know, if you got like friends that are in that sad energy, depressed energy, not good energy, uh, choose your friends wisely because that energy is not going to help you, especially if you're trying to deal and heal things in your own life. I think this energy is just going to hold you back from healing and moving on. So, what is this tune out distractions about for Libra? Tune out distractions for Libra. Page of Cups. So this is, could be children. Maybe you need to get, because pages are about children, especially the Page of Cups here. Imagination. So maybe, you know, you don't have a lot of time for yourself. Maybe you need to get a babysitter. Maybe you need to ask friends, family, if you have a lot of kids or kids that distract you from doing things that you need to do or even if it's just chores or if it's time for yourself or doing some some things that you like to do or whatever here if you have children and you're like you know i need some quiet time for me because you know as much as you love your children they can be a distraction so maybe you need to you know like i said hire a babysitter ask you know family friends hey can you watch them for an hour or two so i could do this i could do that or something like that Wow, so, <laughs> all right. All right, so let's see. What is this knowledge about? What is this knowledge about for Libra? Oops, I just want one knowledge here for Libra. The Three of Cups. So, you know, this is reunion, coming together, rejoicing, celebrating, and things like that. But maybe um, three of cups here with knowledge. You know, maybe this could be going back to school, you know, maybe, uh, or something like that. Because this involves other people. This is a very social energy here. So if you've been thinking about going back to school or taking online courses or taking some, like, community classes courses or something like that it's probably telling you or even telling you to get out and join some public groups and maybe um learn some new things also too is what i'm getting with that all right Let's see if put this this way all right so what is what is this grace about for Libra? What is this grace about for Libra? Seven of Cups. So this is about choices, decisions, confusion, things like that, uh, possibilities. It's saying here to look at all possibilities here with grace and dignity. You know, looking at all the possibilities, you know, refusing some or declining some with grace grace and dignity it's all about grace and dignity here whatever options you choose whatever options you don't choose is to be grateful be appreciative and have that grace and dignity about you whatever it is for you if it's i don't know going someone asks you for a date and you're like nah i don't think so but being graceful about it or a friend asks you to do something and you're like nah i don't think i really want to do that you know 
it's just being very graceful, grateful, appreciative, and having that dignified attitude. Rejecting or accepting things that may come your way, whatever they, it could be anything. Some, something little that's going out to eat and you're like, no, nah, I really don't feel like it, or a date, or um, let's go do this or that, or and you know, let's go skydiving. You're like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you, know? you know, whatever, you know, whatever here. Okay, so what is this communication about? What is this communication about for Libra? Two of Wands. So this is making plans, decisions for the future. You know, having your vision at hand uh, and making plans, decisions, moving ahead. So this is about communication and with your plans uh, moving forward. So whatever um, vision you have or whatever plans, decisions you're making for your future, you may need to make sure you're communicating well with your friends, your family, so they know what you're doing, where you're going, you know, what you're thinking about. So you just don't do something up and abruptly and they're all like, hey, you know, what the heck's going on here? You know, so you may want to keep people informed um, only what you feel like they need to be informed of if you're making changes and plans for your future, like this may be a new vision that you have, so people don't get confused or uh, feel like you're, uh, I don't want to say neglecting them, but like not like trusting in them or uh, telling them things or things like that. All right, so... Because you may, you know, maybe a person that likes to keep to yourself, but, um, you know, sometimes close friends of family, they like to know what's going on with you. And if you've been distant and they're like, hey, what's going on with them? And if you're making these big plans and decisions for your future, making big changes and you're not telling anyone, um, you might want to consider telling your close friends and family what's going on with you. All right. So let's see what this rock bottom is for Libra. What is this rock bottom about for Libra? Destruction Tower. Wow. Okay. So something here. Yeah. I feel like something here is crumbling down or has crumbled down. It's like hit bottom. It's like it's done. It's over. It's like no more. It's like if you've been feeling that energy, like it's like crumbling down, it's ending. I don't feel like, you know you belong there anymore or whatever it is here. Um, spirit wants you to know that whatever's crumbling down will hit rock bottom, whatever that is for you, whatever's coming to an end, whatever's, uh, whatever here that it, and this may not sound like a good message, but something is hitting, is hitting rock bottom here. Only you would know what that is. Something is being destructed here. So it's probably time to um, end this situation. Okay, so what is this deep freeze about for Libra? What is this deep freeze about for Libra? Ten of Wands. So this is responsibility. So this is being overburdened, but this is ending those burdens. So I feel like... There's been like a lot of burdens, responsibility that you've had and changes that you know you need to make. And I feel what rock bottom here and destruction that event, you, you know, somehow divine spirit is going to make something happen here, something to hit rock bottom, destruction, whatever you've been putting off, putting in a deep freeze, you know, not ending too many responsibilities and things of that energy, spirit energy somehow is going to make this happen because the tower's destruction 10 of wands is an ending of overburden and responsibility you've been putting that off of saying you know what? i can't do this anymore it's too much burden it's too much responsibility i think you've been avoiding that but compass here changes do need to be made spirit wants you to know that you need to make changes here that you just can't do all of this on your own and it's gonna and you may you, your health may fail your you know your life may start crumbling down because of avoiding ending this responsibility or burdens so what is compass about six of pentacles pentacles generosity here this is equality balance so i feel like 
once you make changes here because you got five to six so once you make these changes and you release all these burdens and it may take that you have to hit rock bottom first then once you start going in a new direction and you change your compass and make these changes then you'll feel much more balanced you'll have all this balanced energy coming into you with the six of pentacles um you know in in your life and always there'll be much more balance so we're going to read the bottom of the deck it's a lot of different uh, messages there so you, i guess you take what resonates you throw away what doesn't but before we do the bottom of the deck uh libra if you do like my style and how i read please do like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments if you subscribe be sure to hit the bell get four readings a month you'll get a spirit guide messages what you need to know at this time if you're single you get a singles reading who's coming towards you um, if you are in a connection with somebody you'll get a love connection reading and an overall general tarot forecast uh, reading also which is just a general reading so if you're interested in all that please do subscribe and hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you thank you so let's see what's at the bottom so we have the four one so this is reward stability so once you make changes once you do here what you need to do then you'll have a much more stable uh, home life and a stable life knight of cups so this is uh moving forward with love dignity appreciation peace balance being very comp compassionate um loving kind of energy peaceful energy the moon you know you may not see things clearly right now but things will come to light um so keep that in mind four of cups feeling very blah and you know not kind of bored and blah energy Eight of Swords, Mental Entrapment. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is teamwork, collaboration, getting recognition, and the Queen of Wands energy here, being very fiery, passionate. Again, for life, having a zest for life, moving forward, and going after what you want, what's best for you, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion, and working towards that goal. But have to release these uh, mental burdens and feeling bored and complacent. No, you may not see how it's all going to come into place, but it will. And you'll be in that loving, compassionate, moving forward kind of energy and being more stable. All right, so a lot of messages there for you, Libra. And I hope these resonated for you. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.